If you're moving to the Boston area, looking at different neighborhoods and suburbs you might see yourself living in and you're considering Brookline, good news for you, this video is gonna be an overview of what it's like to live in Brookline and what you need to know if you're considering moving there. So let's get into it. Hey there, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the Living Boston channel. My name is Jacob Pystrup. And real quick, just before this video, if you are someone who is moving to the Boston area and you want some help with that process of buying a house, buying a condo, signing a lease in this crazy real estate market, if you want some help with that, send over a text or send an email. Let's get in touch. Let's start that conversation to help get you here to Boston. I am a real estate advisor in Boston absolutely love it and love the clients that I get to work with through YouTube who are coming to Boston and I love getting to share this beautiful city. So if I can do anything to help you with that process, like I said, let's get in touch. So let's get into what it's like to live in Brookline and make sure you stick around to the end because there's a few things you want to know about Brookline before you live there that are kind of different from the rest of Boston. So Brookline, it is a beautiful, gorgeous, classy and really prestigious part of town in the Boston area. Brookline isn't a neighborhood of Boston because it's not in the city of Boston, but I'm not sure if I would call it a suburb exactly because it's so close to the city, you're right next to Boston, but it technically isn't part of Boston. So Brookline is kind of its own area, it's kind of its own town, but still right next to Boston and very close to everything Boston has to offer. So if you're looking for that convenience and maybe you don't want to live in the city, but you still want to be very close to the city, Brookline can definitely offer that. It is extremely close to Boston. Um, public transit is very easy in Brookline, whether you have a car or you're using the public transit system, very convenient, very easy. If you live in Brookline, you're right next to Boston, so it's like you're just outside the city, but still have that mix of urban and suburban, depending on where in Brookline you end up living. As far as some of the big draws to Brookline and why people choose to live here, it's beautiful, it's charming, it does have a blend between urban and suburban. Depending on what you prefer and which part of Brookline you live in, it has a very charming suburban feel in some parts and a little bit more of an urban city-like living in other parts. So it has a blend of both. Brookline also has some phenomenal schools. So if you care about public school districts, Brookline just ranked number six in the Boston area by niche.com for some of the best public schools in Massachusetts. So that's not me trying to steer you. You can look at niche.com. They'll tell you Brookline has some absolutely incredible public schools if you live there. And that's definitely one thing the families in Brookline will speak to. They can tell you how good the schools are, that their kids love it, and obviously you can look at public sites that will emphasize that Brookline public schools are really, you know, top-notch schools to live in. So Brookline has different neighborhoods, different sides of town that'll have a different feel, different personality and lifestyle that comes along with moving to one of those different parts of Brookline. A really popular area is Coolidge Corner. It's kind of like this quaint, you know, downtown area with a bunch of neighborhoods stemming off of it. But in Coolidge Corner, you have a lot of very nice shops, restaurants, bars, um, coffee shops, bookstores, lots of really cool stuff. It's kind of this very, you know, quaint and charming downtown area along Coolidge Corner. Another cool kind of downtown area to check out in Brookline is Washington Square. Similar to Coolidge Corner, you're gonna have, you know, a lot of nice shops, bars, restaurants. It's kind of like this quaint and lively downtown part of Brookline where you got, you know, kind of like this main street and a lot of stuff stemming off of that. Fun stuff to do. Definitely a really cool place to check out on the weekends or if you just want a fun place to go grab dinner or go get some food, Washington Square and Coolidge Corner are probably the top choices for you in Brookline. Longwood is partially in Brookline, partially in Fenway. So Longwood is kind of, you know, this medical hub as far as hospitals and medical centers. If you work in medicine, if you're a healthcare worker, you might be very close to work if you work in Longwood and you live somewhere in Brookline. So there's that convenience of living so close to Longwood if you choose to live somewhere in Brookline. 
So you have a decent number of people who live in Brookline and also work in medicine because they're so close to the Longwood medical area to get to work. And here's a fun fact about Brookline. In 2020, they ranked number one in the US as far as people who live there that hold doctoral degrees. So Brookline is a very educated part of town. Obviously, you're very close to all the top universities, BC, Harvard, MIT, BU, those are all very close to Brookline. You have easy access to colleges and universities. And because of that, Brookline is a very educated part of town. So in that sense, it kind of has this, you know, classy intellectual feel because you have a lot of, you know, very smart working professionals who live in Brookline. Now, you know, Brookline is definitely a sought after and prestigious part of town. So with that, it is pricey. It can definitely be an expensive place to live, especially when you compare it to places around it like Alston, Brighton, or Jamaica Plain. Brookline is substantially more expensive than those places, both for buying and for renting. Just like, you know, Chestnut Hill, Newton, Brookline is up there as far as price and being an expensive place to live with that cost of living. So the condos, the townhomes, the apartments you'll see in Brookline are definitely going to be you know, top tier as far as price to live there. But there's also a lot of variety as far as what you can find in Brookline because it's a very mixed part of town. You have urban, you have suburban, you have some more densely populated parts and some more spread out spaces in Brookline that kind of vary in price. So there's a lot of different choices to pick from in Brookline. Now, if you're up towards the northern part of Brookline, closer towards BU's campus, up by Alston and Brighton, kind of towards, you know, Commonwealth Ave as kind of the top border of Brookline, it tends to be more urban, more densely populated. You'll see more apartment buildings, condos, and townhomes in this part of Brookline. So it feels a little bit more urban in the northern part compared to down south where it's much more suburban and has much more of a, a neighborhood feel in Brookline. Now down south in Brookline, really south of Boylston, is where you have much more suburban living. It feels like more of a neighborhood. It feels like you're in the suburbs, not in the city, but you're still 10 minutes away from downtown Boston, so it feels like you're in the suburbs, but you're not that far outside the city. I mean, south of Boylston in Brookline is where you will see some of these just phenomenal, gorgeous, beautifully maintained homes, estates, pieces of land in Brookline. Some of the most expensive homes, you know, in the Boston area, even in Massachusetts, are in the southern part of Brookline down here. I mean, like, we're talking extravagance, we're talking generational wealth, that kind of Greenwich, Connecticut kind of vibe with the houses you will see in this part of Brookline. They are beautiful, but they're expensive to own. Like any of these neighborhoods that kind of branch off from Woodland Road, Heath Street, or Lee Street in that part of Brookline, they're all gorgeous. They are all just these beautiful homes you'll see in Brookline. Some of them have that more historic feel on the older side, and you have some brand new custom homes and new construction going on with some of these pieces of land in Brookline. If you're a big fan of football, Tom Brady actually sold his house here a couple years ago. It was in Brookline. He sold it off market for over $30 million. So that's just kind of the wealth you'll see in Brookline. And his neighbors, or I guess his old neighbors, just sold theirs for $23 million. So it is a wealthy part of town in Brookline. It's actually funny, his neighbors originally listed their house for $90 million sold it for 23 million. So still out of money, but nowhere near that original list price. But I mean, overall, you know, whether you're looking in the Southern parts where it's much more suburban or up North where it feels more dense and more like you're living in a city, Brookline has a ton of beautiful homes to offer. It's also just beautiful outdoor space. You got parks, walking trails, lots of nature, greenery. If you enjoy nature, there's a lot of, you know, just beautiful walking trails, stuff to do outside in Brookline. You've also got a couple country clubs to choose from. One of the oldest and most original country clubs in the US is in Brookline and it's called The Country Club. That's the name, it's The Country Club, and it's in the southern part of Brookline. This is the country club where all those 20 and $30 million houses back up to. So you have the houses, then you have the country club and the golf courses right behind them. Now, some things to know about Brookline. So it is very easy to get into Boston as far as commute, whether you're driving or you're taking the T. 
The T has the green line, which basically splits into four different lines, the B line, C line, D line, and E line. And the great news for you if you live in Brookline is that all four of those either go through Brookline or they kind of touch Brookline along the border. So the E line, Heath Street, that ends right on the border of Brookline, but really all four of these green lines either go through it or they're they're touching the border of Brookline. Depending on where you live, you're probably gonna be somewhere close to at least one of them if you live in Brookline. So the green line will be your way, you know, right into Boston if you take the T. Now, if you have a car or if you're planning on bringing a car to Brookline, you gotta know there is no overnight parking on the streets. So if you plan on having a car here long term, you have to find somewhere else to park it. Either driveway, garage, parking spot, there are some parking lots available. You can't park it on the street overnight in Brookline. So that definitely is you know, a point of frustration if you're having a car. But what I will say, Brookline is one of the best places you could live without a car. So if that's kind of, you know, you're going both ways, should you have a car, should you not? Think about the parking situation depending on where you might be living because that could be tough if you don't have a parking spot for that car. So if you don't bring a car, like I said, the Green Line makes things very easy if you live in Brookline. It's one of the best places you could probably be in Boston as far as just commute via public transit into Boston. But if you really want that mix of urban and suburban and you get to pick you know, which neighborhood and which part of Brookline you want to live in, like I said, there's a bunch to choose from. Places like Coolidge Corner, Washington Square, those are just some examples, whether you're up towards the northern part by BU or you're down south in the more suburban parts, Brookline has a ton to offer and a lot of different lifestyles you can find if you're moving to the area. So if you are moving to Brookline or somewhere else in the Boston area, like I said, if you want some help with that process of buying a house, buying a condo, signing a lease, and finding a rental, if I can do anything to help you with that process, please send a text, send an email, let's get in touch, get that conversation started so we can get you here to Boston and hopefully Brookline. So until next time, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, have a great day, and I will catch you in the next video right here on the Living Boston channel.